Hey, I'm Shar, and welcome to readings. We do a Pisces reading. Let's pick an oracle card for you. A Psychic Tarot Oracle Deck. These are by John Holland. I'm just about done the deck. Let's see what spirit will pick for you. Pisces. We have disconnect and boredom. <laughs> Why? Hello, Uni. Hello, Balloon. Hello, Balloon. Disconnect and boredom. I'm bored. It's a number four card. I'm going to say it's a four cups. I'm refusing a cup. Disconnect and boredom. Hello. Hello. <laughs> oh, you're so friendly. Disconnect and boredom. There it is. Okay, we got to get rid of the fur ball here. He's just purring like crazy. Come on, buddy. Down we go. All right, let's go. Disconnect and boredom. Discontent. Sorry. Discontent and boredom. This card signifies a time when you may experience stagnation. Discontent and boredom. Yeah, that's pretty much like everyday kind of thing. Feelings of restlessness and impatience surround you. A relationship, a project, or a situation isn't moving forward fast enough and could be draining you emotionally and energetically. You're hoping for change, and although one door may be closing, don't focus all of your energy on it, as opportunity will soon knock. A window or another door could quickly open, and if your attention and awareness is in focus, you could easily miss it. Watch for synchronistic events that bring books, speakers, workshops, and new people into your life. Any of these could possibly hold a message for you. Have faith in divine timing and know that everything changes for a reason. This card acts as a reminder that it's a perfect time to reevaluate and search within your heart and your soul for fresh insight. You know what? <laughs> I'm going to play the devil's advocate here because you know what that all sounds like? Big bunch of, well, as my friend Gregorius says, horse pucky. Because you know what? When, when you're feeling discontent and you're feeling bored, I mean, what are you supposed to do? Especially if you don't have money so that you can go somewhere or... You know, like, let's talk real life. It, it's not like I'm bored and then suddenly a knock comes on the door and in walks a party, right? It just doesn't happen. So, more or less, instead of sitting and being aware of what might open and what might close, I don't know, I'd maybe have that party. I mean, we still got another week of beautiful sun and high of 31 coming in all week here in Canada anyway so I don't know maybe have that last hip hip hoorah before the cold weather comes in or, or maybe I don't know anything just have a have a bunch of people come over or some friends come over even if it's one friend you know Open up a bottle of wine and share some laughs and, and some joy. But if you're if you're bored and discontent, then you know you, you can sit and be aware all you want. But sometimes awareness just doesn't really do it for the typical human being. And I think you know what I mean. And if you don't, well, I guess we're just not on the same level of resonation here. But, let's go to the Gilded Tarot by Cyril Marchetti. 
Let's, let's see what we can find out here, Pisces. I know if, if I'm bored, uh, you know, there's not really many places I can go. I don't have a lot of money. You know, and I, I can jump in the car and I can go somewhere. But if I, I go to the beach, then you just kind of carry the discontent and the, and the boredom there too. So you, you got to spice up your own life, Pisces. Sometimes I find all you got to do is just go out your front door. I find that. But I live in the apartment building where there's usually always something going on. So I can usually find myself in quite interesting conversations just walking outside. I mean, it's not skydiving. But it's better than sitting around the house and feeling discontent and boredom. Uni! Hey! Get out of there! Sorry. Hey! He's bound to get my attention one way or another. Let's go. Spirit is speaking. So let Spirit speak. And let's get her on, let's get her done. So I got Pisces here. But this is King Neptune. Rising up out of the sea, that's a lot of emotion. Followed by the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. A lot of emotion because things just aren't the way you want them to be. But I want you to stop for a moment and, and just think back. And ask yourself, well, they're not the way I want them to be, but thanks God, it's not what it used to be. So it's it's kind of a, it's a lot of emotion wrapped around feeling less fortunate. Now, well, it, it just seems that, <laughs> Pisces, what are you waiting for, darling? You know, sometimes discontent and boredom is a sign to really give you blessings. Because it, it could be, um, you might be missing someone. Or something that used to be in your life. Bonjour. Bonjour. You're going to mess up the reading. Sorry, a lot of distraction. Okay, so what is this? And what is this? Chariot. So, here comes the devil. What is it, Pisces? <laughs> you know, when, when you get a, um, um, a, a devilish person or a mischievous person in your life in the past, when they're gone, there's a void. And it's like, oh my God, so quiet. I've had people say that to me when I go and visit them, and then when I leave, they say, oh my God, it got so quiet, because I just, I ramble. I go on and on and on and on, especially when I've had a couple of drinks. Look out, get the hell out of the way, because I'm, I'm talking. But anyways, um, it, it's, what are you missing here? There's great emotions that something has happened, or that... Nothing is happening. And so you know what? Sometimes when we're discontent and we're bored, that's almost like a manifestation. It's like, well, I miss somebody. Are you sure? Ask yourself, are you sure? Or is there just a void that needs to be filled? There's a lot of thinking here, but it's not all up in your head kind of thinking. But there is a lot of thinking. There's a huge air, air energy around you. Now, it could be a Gemini. But there's huge air energy. 
is that when you go into sight, you go into a light of deep, heavy sight. But it's not the kind of sight that gets you all trapped up in your head, which tells me, good Pisces, good. It means that you're not getting all wrapped up and imprisoning yourself into thinking. But it's obvious from these cards that there's a missing of somebody. Someone who you might have been kind of chained to. <clears throat> Let's continue on here. Ooh. Okay. Now what is that one-sided love called? People were using that word like everybody I talked to was using that word. It's, it's a one-sided love, and this is kind of what I'm picking up here, Pisces, is a one-sided love. Or a one-sided attempt at trying to make someone see things your way or bring someone back into your life. The other side's not feeling that. And that's why I'm saying it's a one-sided thing. Okay, so... Opportunity presents itself. A door opens. And there's a great, great possibility here. With the star card, there's a great possibility here. That what you think, the other does not. Okay? With the passion card in the reverse and the rebuild card in the reverse, I do not have a passion to rebuild, but somebody's coming. And the main reason that somebody's coming is because of uh, discontent and boredom. And through these two emotions, because your very first card is huge emotion, I think, Pisces, is that there's somebody that you miss. There's someone in your life that you miss. It doesn't have to be a love. It could be anybody. It could be maybe the black sheep of the family. Maybe family just talk about you or they treat you badly. And you would like to have that family bond again or once. I think you know what I mean by that, some of you. But through this discontent and this boredom and through this emotion... It's almost like because we think it, and Jared, as you think, so shall it be. And so shall it be, my darling. Someone comes. Now you think a lot when this person comes. But you don't get trapped up in your thought. And this is good, which tells me you've done a lot of work on yourself. But a door opens, or so you think that a door opens. But I want to let you know that this is a one-sided door. This is your door, nobody else's. If you think this is going to be a door that's going to bring you into a, a bond with somebody, no, this is only your door. Let's continue on. Spirit, what is happening with Pisces? What's going on? What's going on here with Pisces? What's happening? Well, we have the Five of Swords. And the Two of Cups. Followed by the Ace of Swords. Followed by the Four of Cups. Discontent and boredom. Alright, so. Around we go again. Number two. You know, Pisces, some people can't live with themselves. Some people just can't be alone. They cry for another. Some people can't have their family or a loved one mad at them or not talk to them. And especially Pisces. Pisces hurts. But this person that you're thinking about, this soulmate, and still, again, I cannot tell you if this is a love, but definitely a soulmate with the two of cups. But this is someone who wields quite a sword, 
And this sword is a fighting sword. This sword is someone who, well, we're going to call him an energy vampire. This is someone who can keep going. Did you ever get in an argument with somebody and you argued, argued and argued and argued and you tried to get them to see your point, but they couldn't see your point and they just continued off on their own path and, and, and you just become exhausted and you walk away? You're absolutely freaking exhausted. But if you look at them, they're still going. But they found someone else now. See how they feed. See how they feed. They just eat the energy like a langolier. You know, they just eat the energy from people. It's time to tell yourself the truth that, you know what, maybe discontent and boredom is the thing. The truth is, is discontent and boredom. The truth is, refuse the cup. Truth is, well, maybe, yeah. Watch the door close and wait for another to open. Because I do have another door opening here, Pisces, but it's your door. And it kind of leads nowhere. It, it kind of leads to who you're thinking about. But yet, it leads nowhere. Because it, it appears that this individual... This Langolier only feeds, only eats, spirit, damn, only balloon, okay balloon, okay, down you go my friend, he's got the cards all messed up, I don't know what's what. If you are discontented and if you find yourself bored, like somebody was in my life a lot and now they're gone, I, and do, do, you, do you really want that someone back? Do you really? Now, cross watchers, don't, don't take offense because if it, doesn't, if it doesn't resonate with you, then it's not your reading, darling. But I know that there's a lot of Pisces out there have been done wrong and, and yet they continue to return. And it's mostly out of my life has become so quiet now and I, I miss the excitement or the chase, the game. I don't know. I don't know. Ask yourself, what is it that you're missing? And truthfully, I'm going to have to say what you're missing is just having someone there to hold you. But let's continue on. So the King of Pentacles is in the reverse and the Two of Wands. And so Spirit is telling me here, with the King of Pentacles in the reverse, that, okay, so all is not that great. There may be money problems and struggles. Who doesn't have those? There may be times that you just don't feel enlightened. Who doesn't have that? Especially when you're bored. I don't feel enlightened. I don't feel like I'm going anywhere. The Wheel of Fortune's reversed. The King of Cash is reversed. Oh me, oh my. But you stand at the crossroads. When you are discontented and when you are bored, you're standing at the crossroads because anything could happen. When you say I'm bored, expect the unexpected. And from what I'm saying, <laughs> get ready to expect the unexpected. And, and then you think about it, but it's you've done a good work on yourself because when you can go into heavy thought now, you don't get trapped in it, and that's a good thing. But you choose the door. When the door of opportunity opens, 
But Pisces, whoever I'm talking to out there, you know, it's always been one-sided. And it probably always will be one-sided. Because that's what I'm reading here. It is one-sided. They don't walk through the same door you do. But you're standing at the crossroads. And yes, indeed, you are. You see. All right. You, okay. Yikes. All right. Yikes. Pisces. Okay, so you're standing at the crossroads. We've got to pick a path. And what I have is this great path of passion. So I've got a very, very passionate Pisces who probably misses the passionate times, the loving times. But with the temperance card in the reverse, you're off course. You're kind of staggered off your path. This, what, this is what happens when we know something that is not good for us, but yet we try to make it work, or we try to control it, or we give another chance. I just know, I just know that next time it'll be better, and they'll do better, and, and, and then we can have a baby, and, and we can get married, and what's calling you is passion. I, I really would have to say Pisces is... Because you've gone off your path, and what is calling you is, is passion. And I've got the king of passion here. What's calling you is your inner makeup, your... See, I don't swear. You know, I sometimes I wish I swore, because I'd be cursing up a storm right now. <laughs> I don't like to swear, but what you miss is the, the, the closeness and, and the, the boudoir time and, and the making love and, and, and that closeness and that. But when you get up on your feet, it's different. And it shouldn't be. It shouldn't be different because you're standing up. Dear God, Spirit, help me. Let's pull just a couple more cards for you. So, you miss the passion. You miss that closeness and that, that wonderfulness that you can feel from them. But when they stand up, they're different. Things are different. The Ten of Cups reversed. Mm -mm. So, if you're gonna if you're gonna go off your path with this. It, it will not be what you're expecting. And you're very anxious. The Seven of Pentacles in the reverse, this is anxieties. This is anxiousness. And with the King of Passion, I can only think one thing. Who are they with? Where are they? Are they with someone else? Come on. Spirit's talking to somebody. <laughs> and they will come. A smooth talker and a sassy walker. Coming, coming, coming. Here they come. I read it in the beginning of the reading. I'll read it in the end. Because your emotions and your feelings are telling the universe, this is what I want back. And that's what you will have back. Bring in a small gift. Nothing of great importance. But the Three of Cups is in the reverse. There is no celebration here. There is no celebration here, but even though, oh my God, on the bottom, taking the leap of the soulmate from the past. You can't make it up. Taking the leap with a soulmate from the past. Well, good luck to you. I really mean that. I don't mean that sarcastically. I really mean that. I hope the two of you can work things out. Because obviously, you wanted to. 
even though you've done a good work on yourself and you don't get so trapped up in your head anymore, that's good. But you get anxious around this person and, and, and the anxiety is that I want to be with them and, well, I love them. But I will tell you that it's all you. Uni, get out of there. It's all you. It's not the other side. This is just a Langolier. We've all had Langoliers in our life who have come in and eaten up our world, eaten up our hearts, our love, our minds. Be careful what you think. Be careful what you wish for. Especially when you're bored and discontented because you just might get it. Be careful. In this time, start a project. Go outside. Go for a walk. Do a video journal. Talk to yourself. Okay, let's find out who's here, Pisces. Not a good reading, but what the heart wants, the heart wants. And you know what I can sit here and I can say to you, Pisces, what are you doing? Don't do this, don't do this. But all in all, we make our own decisions. We have free will. So we have Aries. We have Virgo, Aries, Sagittarius, Taurus, and Aquarius. We have Gemini. Gemini is on the board three times. We have Cancer and Capricorn. We have Pisces and Virgo. All right. I like the reading. If it resonates with you, I hope you'll think about it. Start a project. When you're bored, do something. Don't look back. But you won't have to because somebody is on their way back. I want to thank you for joining us today. And if you like the way we read, thank you, Spirit. Please like and share, and before you leave, reach back and hit that subscribe button. We'd really appreciate that. And don't forget to ring the bell in hopes that you'll be notified the next time that Spirit and I are in the room to speak with you. Namaste, Pisces.